Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, small uh, white circle with the center P fully confined uh, between uh, this uh, quarter circle and this uh, segment uh, AB as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, these points uh, C and D are the points of uh, tangency and moreover uh, this segment uh, AB is uh, 18 units and furthermore uh, O is the center of this uh, quarter circle and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, pink uh, shaded uh, region please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and let's make an observation we can see we are dealing with these uh, circle uh, white one the smaller circle and this uh, quarter circle as well let me label uh, the radius of this uh, quarter circle as uh, uppercase r and the radius of this uh, smaller white circle as uh, lowercase r and here's our next step i have connected uh, these two points of tangency c and d as you can see over here and now let's recall this uh, crucial fact centers and the point of uh, tangency are uh, collinear so no wonder these points of tangency C and D and this uh, center P lie on the very same line. And now let's recall the circle theorem according to this theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be equal to 90 degrees. So no wonder this angle has got to be 90 degrees since this is our AB is our tangent line and this uh, cp is the radius and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, cp is the radius of this uh, smaller circle so i'm gonna label this one as lowercase r and likewise this uh, pd is uh, lowercase r radius uh, as well so therefore this whole uh, diameter cd is going to become uh, two times uh, r and now we can see this uh, line CD and this uh, line uh, AO are parallel. So therefore, uh, if this uh, diameter is uh, 2 times R, then this uh, AO length uh, is going to become uh, 2 times R uh, as well. So therefore, uh, let's uh, re-emphasize this segment uh, is uh, 2 times R. And in this uh, next step, I am going to connect uh, this center O with this uh, point uh, B. As you can see in this uh, next step, and now we can see this uh, OB is the radius of this uh, quarter circle. So I'm going to label this one as uh, uppercase R. So therefore, we are ended up with this uh, right triangle uh, AOB. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AOB whose uh, side lengths are uh, 2 times lowercase r, 18 uh, and uh, uppercase uh, r. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, uh, this uppercase r is our hypotenuse. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got to 2 times uh, lowercase r uh, whole uh, square plus uh, 18 square equal to uppercase r whole square let's simplify that is going to give us uh, 4 times uh, r square plus uh, 324 equal to uppercase r square i'm going to move this uh, 4 r square on the other side so therefore we are going to end up with uh, uppercase r square minus 4 times uh, lowercase r uh, whole square equals to 324. I'm going to label this one as our equation number 1. And now let's make an observation. Uh, let's look at this uh, equation. The pink shaded area is going to be equal to the area of this uh, quarter circle minus uh, the area of uh, this uh, smaller white circle. So therefore now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, quarter circle and the area of this uh, small circle uh, as uh, well. 
and here's our next step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, quarter circle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equals to pi r square where uppercase r is the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle and since we are dealing with this uh, quarter circle so therefore uh, quarter circle area is going to be simply this uh, pi r square I'm going to write down pi uppercase r square divided by 4 so therefore the area of this uh, quarter circle is going to be pi uppercase uh, r square divided by 4 and now in this uh, next step we are going to calculate the area of this uh, small uh, white uh, circle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula once again pi r square where this lower case r is the radius uh, of this uh, smaller circle so therefore the area of this uh, small circle is going to be pi times uh, lower case r whole square and here's our final step let's recall this uh, equation once again pink area equals to quarter circle area minus the smaller circle area and in our case our quarter circle area is uh, pi uppercase r square divided by 4 and the area of this uh, smaller circle is uh, pi lowercase r square so let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, pink shaded region area by just simply filling in the blanks so our quarter circle uh, area is uh, pi uppercase uh, r square uh, divided by 4 minus uh, pi lowercase r whole square and now let's go ahead and tweak this uh, term pi r square I'm going to multiply and divide uh, by 4 uh, over here and now let's make an observation we can see pi divided by 4 and here pi divided by 4 uh, are in common so therefore I am going to factor out uh, pi divided by 4 uh, outside and inside the parentheses we are going to have uppercase r square minus uh, 4 times lowercase uh, r square and now let's focus on this uh, equation one we can see uppercase r square minus 4 times lower r square equals to 324 so therefore I'm going to replace uh, it uh, by 324 over here so therefore uh, after substitution our equation is going to become uh, pi divided by 4 times uh, 324 and we can see this uh, 324 and 4 reduced to 81 so therefore our pink shaded area turns out to be 81 times uh, pi square units thus the pink uh, shared region area turns out to be 81 times pi square units and that is going to be approximately equal to 254.47 square units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye